so hello and welcome back guys so guys in today's video we are going to learn about typescript well i guess i'm just going to tell you about few stuff and one thing i expect that you guys know about javascript because before learning typescript i will suggest you to learn javascript because typescript is kind of like a superset or probably a strict version of javascript well you know we can do wait a second we can do this use strict mode thingy we can start the strict mode in javascript typescript is the same it is like the strict mode is always on well well of course you can close it in OTS config by setting the strict mode to false but i will uh, rather use the true thingy all right but anyways well we can just start real quick well to run your typescript code you need to compile it to javascript you have to install some kind of compiler and you can do it via npmi-g typescript or you can install the ts node thingy ts-node and then you can do stuff like like copying the path to that file and do ts-node and your path and then your thingy will work or you can of course do something like go to your damn path and type tsc all right well let me just go to that relative path wait a second if I do cd and go to that path and now first of all you will need to create a tsconfig file well for now you can do something like this file it have a compiler options module is common js out directory is the directory where you are gonna export your code that I am doing this disk thingy and you might have seen the disk thingy lots of time the disk thingy stands for distributable it is like the compiled code and then the root directory includes the source of your code well normally your code is inside some kind of dots src file but it is uh, for me it is just in that same directory and target is es2021 and it is damn strict and we are excluding dot disk because i don't want to take risk but to be honest it is kind of useless because dot disk only include dot js file but anyways it is compiler stuff i will tell you about that in later videos but for now if i just type tsc our TypeScript will be converted to JavaScript as you can see in this index.js function. Pretty simple. And then you can run this function. I mean run this file and you, boom, your thing is done. Alright guys, so we can simply define variables via using our let, const and stuff like that. And of, now there are a few differences. Like normally we define variables like this in JavaScript. But in TypeScript we can provide, it, uh, we can provide its type like a string or probably a number and stuff like that and there is another catch where well, another thing if you directly assign a value then the variables type will be equal to whatever that value is where for example if it is a boolean then it is of boolean type and in typescript you cannot change the value like to, you cannot change its boolean type to string type well of course you can do something like defining it as a boolean type or a string type all right so this variable can be of either string or boolean all right so that's how this works and now let's move on to something else well it is the literally the same thing yeah i mean the merging of different types like string and then the number and then we can of course define variables with the type all right and yeah by the way you don't really have to put your put everything after that colon like a string or boolean and number and stuff like that instead you can just define a variable or a type via this type keyword and bam your thing is done pretty simple i guess and now let's move on to other stuff well there, this thing this type thing is quite cool for example you can have functions like this one function called sum and you can have a lot of variables like variable a and b and here you can define their type via that colon thing and then you can even define the return type of the function well normally in javascript we will need to do this and then we will need to define the type here like string and then we have to define the return type and stuff like that whereas in typescript we can literally do that here via these colons and by the way right now i'm returning this if i try to return some kind of string i will get an error and that's why we love Java, uh, we love TypeScript because your all errors will be checked while writing the damn code. You don't even have to compile it. Well, I mean, not 100%, but lots of errors are, you know what I'm saying, right? And of course, there is this anything. Well, for example, if you are too lazy and you want a variable which can be anything, like then you can just type 
this colon and then this anything -y. pretty simple it is just any is well it is quite an obvious thing any means any type like literally anything and now i will tell you about the generic functions well these thingies are quite cool all right so like for example well to be honest i personally think i am overdoing the thing like i'm overdosing you with the stuff so let's move on to this thing later on so now let's move on to creating more types for example right now i was just talking about simple types like string number boolean and null or stuff like that but what if you have something complex like some kind of object well it is pretty simple like i have this user object and i want to declare a uh, type which is kind of like this then you can just do interface well you can of course do type 2 type and then you will need to do type user is equals to an object and stuff like that but i will rather uh, well you should use interface i will tell you the difference in probably in a separate video i don't wanna cover that thing right now and then we can just define its properties and stuff like that and then we can even have functions which will even have the very uh, parameters with this type and we can even return this type pretty simple and by the way for example as you can see we, i defined this variable called user but i never gave it this type i mean i never gave it this user type right but if i pass that damn same variable in this bleed user function we are not getting any error and even if i do something like hobby i think yep we are still not getting the error you might ask why it is because they have the same shape or the same properties as you can see same property and the same type that's why the type script will automatically consider it as consider it similar to this user type and we will not get any error pretty simple but of course if i do something like probably adding in value hobby it will be an array of string we can define arrays like this then we will get error but of course it can be an optional properties and by the way you can make optional properties like if you add a question mark before a colon then it becomes an optional property it is not important that each and every object or variable will include this thingy all right so that's just about our interfaces well of course it is not just about that and anyways you can define the classes in the same way you define your objects so what i'm trying to say is the object of a class works similarly to this normal object and you can see uh, this thingy also works in the delete user function all right so that's how our typescript works you can define types you can pass them into different functions and stuff like that and everything else is pretty much similar to our normal javascript so you can easily do typescript if you know javascript and now let's move on to that you know that generic function thingy all right and by the way before that let me tell you about some cool stuff like what if you want to define an array well like you have a hobby property and it is an array all right and then you define a type string well you can do it in a different way too like you can do string array and you can make it a 2d array by adding more of these thingies or you can do something like it is an array of string comma number all right it is pretty simple and of course you can make it optional and you can even do cool stuff like it is an array of objects oh well wait 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 let me show you how you can do that array of user so it is like creating an array of uh, object so this user thing is equivalent to this all right so we can do stuff like that like making an array of objects and of course you can do quite a lot more stuff i will cover them slowly slowly in our series and i guess thanks a lot for watching and please tell me what else you want to learn and i'm making this series so that i can make the video on discord js bird with typescript because i got all i'm i'm kind of bored with javascript in discord js and let me think if i can tell you about something else uh all right yeah, generic functions my bad i forgot to do that so for example you have something like interface mm, hello well by the way by the way uh, you remember that we just did array right you remember but then we added these uh, curved or conical brackets I don't know what do we call them but why did we did that it is because it is a generic type 
and we have to provide some parameters like it can be string then this hobby thing is an array of string all right and let me just add a question mark so that we don't get those red lines so we can define a similar thing in this way we can define an interface hello and then when we can have some stuff like a and b and then we can do this and now we can do well now we can define properties like first its type will be a and then we can have a second property called second and its type will be b and of course well that's how it works you can create generic types and of course you, well we can do this right yep we can do we can do something like this so you might ask what the f so you might ask what is this so it is like if it is making this generic type and optional property may we are making this second thing optional if you provide something okay if you do not provide something it will be equal to string but the a thing is required if you do not provide it you will get an error let me show you let vr is equals to this and it's <coughs> and its type will be hello and now you can see we are getting this error it is saying generic type requires between one to two arguments so we can provide the first argument and it will be number and bam done and if i do first it should be a number and if i do second it should be a string and if i make it a string then i will get this error and if i make this thing a number i will get an error but of course i can convert it to number type as well and bam done so that's how our generic type thingy works and now let me just show you that we can do the same thing in our functions like what if you have function get it is like user can get something now you can just let them choose the return type like we can do rt and then we can do something like key and the return type will be equal to rt and then we can just return something and we can do something like let something is equals to rt type all right and i guess this is it and by the way you can use this slash slash at the rate ts ignore thingy if you want to ignore some kind of error i mean if you want to ask the compiler to ignore this error so what we are doing here is we are literally we literally created a get function well, it is not really a function i mean it is a function but it do uh, absolutely nothing except for returning undefined but anyways you can define you can do this you ask for a generic type rt and then the this function will return whatever type the user is providing for example you can have cases like you are making a if condition no 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 let's do something better well for example you are doing let a is a number and it is equal to 2 plus uh 2 plus what what 2 plus get all right 2 plus get but there is a problem and the problem is it is of type unknown let's make it a string by default all right so the problem is a, a string is not assignable to type number in this case well like let me just be more real all right so now you might have a use case where you are adding two numbers well the first number is a constant and you know it will be equal to 2 but you have to get the second number from this function all right but you are getting this error it is saying i cannot read the property uh, this property string is not assignable to number but you know that the get thing will return the number type in such case you can literally do this you can add these thingy and type number here and bam what the heck cannot redeclare block scope variable a oh well let me just rename it to aa so now you can see it works now it, the get function is going to return us something of number type so that's how generic function works and they are really cool and thanks a lot for watching and i'm sorry if i, I was being stupid and if you was unable to understand something feel free to message me i will tell you how to do that or something